Hey guys, Ryan here for Bender Wins. Hope everyone is doing well today. Here with your daily free picks. All right, so we didn't have any picks yesterday. Um, instead, I don't know if you guys caught it, but I did a live stream again yesterday. I'm gonna look to do those, uh, I think a little more often, because um, above and beyond, you know, just giving out picks, uh, it really does kind of show you how I handicap games and, and certain things I look for and, and things that I look for to avoid. So um, for those of you that, uh, that joined yesterday and asked questions, Really appreciate it. it. was a lot of fun, but I, I think I am going to look to do a few more of those um, in the near future. So uh, going back, so I didn't have any picks yesterday. There was not a ton of value out there. Um, like I, I said in the live stream yesterday, there were no picks yesterday. I did have a couple kind of what you call leans, like games, you know, I was betting quarter unit on or something like that, but nothing, nothing major. So um, back to Sunday, we had a, a nice three in one day on Sunday. Um, we got our two unit play on Minnesota, man, when I put that Minnesota play, like I got some hate, like, hate, like how can you take Minnesota and blah, blah, blah. I can't win on the road. And everyone, you know, everyone's telling me like New Orleans going to win by three scores. And I'm like, you guys are seeing something way different than what I'm seeing here. And I think I'm pretty sure maybe you guys let me know that I'm pretty sure is the first two unit NFL game I gave out all year. Um, I don't give out a lot of two unit NFL. So in the future guys, if I give out a two unit NFL play, it's gonna be a long time before I give another two unit NFL play, uh, run with it, okay? Because there, there's a shit ton of value if I'm giving out two units on NFL, because it's very rare. Um, yeah, so the other thing too, uh, the hockey game. So we got the win there, uh, I took a shootout. We, we tied it up late, um, we got the shootout win, and it was, it was really nice to get a little bit of luck in the NHL, because when that game started, um, Calgary gave up two goals on three shots and I'm like, here we go again. So I actually went back and I looked, and this is actually an amazing stat. I looked at the last three hockey games that we've gone with and all three games have started out with two goals on three shots. How amazing is that? So that's basically six goals on nine shots. Now, if you guys know anything about hockey, you know that the probability of that happening is astronomical. I mean, six goals on nine shots. I think the NHL average shooting is somewhere around seven or eight percent, I would think. So, you know, nine or six goals on nine shots, pretty incredible. But anyways, guys, we, we got a bit of luck come our way. So uh, very happy about that. Not only did they give up two goals on three shots, but they actually gave up three goals on seven shots. Which doesn't sound as bad, I don't think. But anyways, guys, we got the win there with three and one. So um, back today, didn't have anything yesterday. I got five picks for you guys today. I have four college basketball and I have an NBA pick for you guys. So um, first thing I'm gonna mention, now this isn't a pick right now because we kind of missed the boat, but um, I was loving Providence last night and I didn't bet it. This is one of those games where I felt like, I felt like the line was gonna go the other way and I'm like, oh, I'll wait and I'll get more value. And it was dumb because the Sharps saw what I saw and they bet it from plus eight and a half down to plus five and a half, um, which eliminated all the value that was there. So it's not a pick guys, but I'm just gonna let you guys know, in the rare case that Providence um, manages to work its way back up to like plus seven, uh, it's probably not gonna happen. But if it gets back plus seven or above, um, take it. It's not going to be a play of ours today, guys, but there, there's a lot of value there if it gets back to that point. So just keep an eye on that. Um, all right. The first game that is our actual pick, uh, <clears throat> pardon me. We are going to take Penn State and Rutgers going under 140 and a half. So Penn State, Rutgers going under 148, uh, sorry, under 140, under 140 and a half. And that is going to be, that's in our basketball super system. So again, Penn State, Rutgers under 140 and a half. Uh, next game, guys, staying in college basketball, we have Mo uh, Miami, Ohio, and Bowling Green. So we have three system indicators, and we have a contrarian play here on Miami, Ohio. So we're going to take Miami, Ohio, plus eight in this game, all right? Miami, Ohio, plus eight. Next game, guys, we have Northern Illinois and Central Michigan. So Northern Illinois, Central Michigan. It's contrarian play. Um, now, we, do, we have a number of system indicators as well as it being a contrarian play, but I will give you guys a little bit of a warning. Um, of all the plays today, this is probably on the weaker side of my plays. And the reason I say that is there was a steam play that was on Central Michigan. 
Now, normally I do not bet against steam, but there's enough good things on Northern Illinois. And the steam was at a book that it's not the greatest book for steam in terms of how they perform. So I'm still okay with Northern Illinois, but you know, if some of you guys are, you know, only betting two or three of my games, maybe this is the game that you lay off. But again, it's enough for me that I bet on it and, and it's definitely a pick. It's definitely a pick, but you know, I want to let you guys know there is steam on the other side. So we are going to take Northern Illinois plus four and a half. All right. Northern Illinois plus four and a half. All right. Next game, guys, we have uh, Villanova and Creighton. So Villanova and Creighton. Um, nice money distribution this game. You have 38% of bets, 49% of money. So it's contrarian still. And we got an 11% difference between the bets and the money. So we really like that. Now, above and beyond, we also have two system indicators on the game. Uh, one of the system indicators hits 54%, the other one 57%, right? So really nice money distribution, two solid indicators. We're going to take Villanova plus two in this game. All right, Villanova plus two. Um, all right, finally, I have an NBA play for you guys. Um, tonight, we have my Toronto Raptors playing against Portland. All right, um, should be a good game. Right now though, guys, Portland, 31% of the bets, 46% of money. Um, as well, there's five system indicators on Portland in this game. So we are going to take Portland to beat the Raptors plus two and a half. And I will certainly not be watching that game tonight because um, if, if I ever bet against my teams, I just don't watch the games. Um, so, you know, is what it is. That's part of being a professional better is sometimes you got to bet, you know, against your teams. And um, if you ever do bet with your teams, by the way, you better be like, damn sure the numbers look good. Like every play that you bet with your team, that should be like a two unit play just so you know that you're not lying to yourself just so you can bet on your own team. Um, if you find yourself betting on your own team a lot, reevaluate your decision making. Um, <clears throat> unless, you know, your team covers all the time. But anyways, guys, that's it for today. So we're going to take Portland plus two and a half. Um, we got the four basketball games for you guys. Keep an eye on Providence. Um, I don't think that number is going to tick back up, but if it does, jump on it. And uh, that's it for today, guys. So I'll be back tomorrow with another daily free picks. Um, so as always, guys, have a very lucky day.